Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out a new version of the Power Toys Utility app version 0.75, which they made available just a couple of hours ago. And um, version 0.75, which is our latest release, includes a couple of new features and improvements, which I think you may find of, of interest if you are using the Power Toys app, which is available from the Microsoft Store for Windows 10 and Windows 11, as many of you may know. Now, there are three new features and three highlights that have been made available with this release, and I'm going to focus on those for the purpose of today's video. But if you want more info regarding um, the other fixes that have rolled out for the different utilities and tools, just click on Release Notes where um, you can check out that more in depth. Now, first of all, Settings has a new dashboard homepage, which actually opens by default now when you launch Power Toys now, which basically is a quick access for enabling modules, and it also gives you short descriptions and activation methods. So I actually think this is a nice move because, first of all, it just gives you a quick overview as to what you have, which utilities and modules you have enabled, and here are the disabled modules just below that. And just to demonstrate, you can click on any of these and it enables that module. And here we can see the short description and basically activation methods. So I think that's a nice move, just giving you a quick overview. And because there's quite a lot going on now in Power Toys and a quick overview as to what you have enabled and what you haven't. Now, another new feature that's rolled out um, is a new feature called Environment Variables. Here we can see that, which I've already enabled. And it's an Environment Variables Editor which has the functionality to configure profiles that can be enabled and or disabled. Now, if you launch it, and by the way, if you launch from the dashboard, it actually opens up the module or that tool in its own window, where if you launch the tool from the left-hand menu, it actually opens that, that up uh, in the actual app itself. But if you, as mentioned, from the dashboard, that opens it up in its own free-floating window. Now, just a quick overview as to what this environment variables is all about, um, in case you are a little bit confused or would like a little bit more info. First of all, um, a brief overview of this is that um, it's used by the system and programs. So environment variables are used by the system and by programs. And um, the path variable, for, for as an example, defines the locations on the system that are checked when you run executable files from the command line or from scripts. So basically, that's quite a mouthful. And I think this would apply more to admins and administrators more than your average home user. And yeah, you can see as an example for user variable, you can edit that variable and you can remove the variable. And the same applies with uh, any regarding the system. Uh, you have the option to edit and remove the, those variables. So new environment variables. And um, that's also a new utility now in version 0 0.75. And then for the next one, we're just going to head over to Peak. And uh, um, Peak lets you um, preview a, a file or an image um, a lot quicker and easier, as we can see from the description. And I have posted on this previously. And um, just to demonstrate, um, if we click on uh, Peak, how we enable the feature is we use control and space. So basically, if I head over to my file explorer and I click on an image, and then I use control and space, it opens up that image in a preview. So that's more or less what Peak is all about. And they've added a previewer to Peak that hosts file explorer previewers to support every file type that a machine is currently able to preview. For example, this means that if Microsoft Office handlers are installed, Peak can preview Office files. Now, I don't have Office ins installed on this machine, but you get the general idea. So over and above just looking at uh, images now, you can also, as an example, um, view Office files and preview Office files using Peak by clicking on any file, control and space, and there we go, you get the general idea. So that's the key highlights that have been made available with Power Toys version 0 0.75, which is the latest release. And as mentioned, quite a lot going on. And I just wanted to I just show you these new highlights, which I think some could be handy and useful, inc um, including this new dashboard, as mentioned, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.